Hey guys, how is everybody? I hope you're all doing well this Christmas uh, in 2020 with everything that's going on. I hope you're all keeping well um, and still feeling festive. I'm just doing like some random vlog at the minute. I don't really know what it's about. It's just a random vlog. But I'm joined here by Trixie and Winston over there. Um, but yeah, so I just thought I would do a random vlog, just kind of, I don't know, go through a few things and stuff, general discussion. Um, I'm going to give a quick update of the hamsters, Leo and Larry, and they're doing really well. Um, I've had them for a week now, um, so when the video went up, um of the video that you saw um setting up their enclosure and <clears throat> um receiving them everything that was a week ago <laughs> so it was all pre-recorded and everything um but yeah no they're doing good they're doing good larry came out of his shell a lot quicker than leo did leo i'm so proud of him though because he is definitely getting better. Um, he is... He's coming out a lot more than he first did. At first, I didn't see him really at all for quite a while. Um, but now he's actually starting to come out. <laughs> I have to wear gloves because they do try to nibble a bit. They're, they're a bit nibbly. And I have to remember, they're only five weeks old. So they're babies, only little babies. Little bappers. Sorry if I look like a complete mess, by the way. I not long woke up and I'm just ugh. Um, I was supposed to wash my hair yesterday, but after, um, or this morning, but after just a like meh week at work and everything, it's just like, or a few weeks at work, it's been a bit hectic actually um, at the vets. A few emergencies and everything. Um, yeah, I'm just like, oh, I'm just going to have a chill day. <laughs> so basically, I'm going to look like a scruff today. And there's nothing no one can do about it. <laughs> anyway, back to what I was actually talking about. So yeah, no, they're doing good. Um, I got a second wheel because they would try and run on the same wheel and just kind of like go around and in circles with each other without actually running. I don't know, it was really <laughs> pleasant. And Larry uses the wheel a lot. He's on it, like, all the time. So he was kind of hogging it. Um, and I was going to get a second one anyway. I just got one to start with. Um, but I've put another one in there now. It's a light, lime, light green one. Um, another flying saucer wheel. As the little baby dwarfs. And the rescue said that's what they were using for them when, when they were at the Blue Cross. Um rescue center in oxford um so yeah and leo does tend to use that one now so he uh he likes to run on that and i'm just so proud to see that he's he's finally starting to come out because i was getting really worried he would just stay under the bedding and i was like he's not moving where is he is he okay <laughs> is he eating is he drinking is he exercising and yeah but no, um, Perseverance <laughs> um, has finally led him to, to come out of his shell a bit. Um, and yeah, so so yeah, they're doing good. Doing very well. Every time I sprinkle the food in, because I, I like to put some in the bowls, but then I also like to scatter feed them. Um, so every time I do that in the morning, he always comes out and starts nibbling on the food because he knows that's what I'm doing. And yeah. I thought Larry was the real foodie, but I think they both are. They're both quite big foodies. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we have managed to change the rooms around. So our bedroom was also our office, but now we finally um, changed our bedroom into the separate room. And now once we dismantled the old bed that's currently in the office, the little hamsters, the boys, will go into the office with us. Um, they're currently in the spare room, the small room. But, um, yeah, so um, I'm really happy. 
with them and and yeah i just i hope they're happy they seem like they're happy but uh yeah i've got them a couple of christmas presents as you would have se- you will see um because that's going to be one of the later or one of the last videos for the 12 days before christmas and my gosh is it hard to think of 12 things different things to do for that series <laughs> it's the first time i'm doing it so it's like ah. um but yeah so i am probably going to add some gameplay into it just trying to think of christmasy type things um but yeah you will hopefully see one of those tomorrow um i'm not gonna say what it is you'll have to wait and see <laughs> Um, but yeah, today's just like a random, a random vlog because, you know, I kind of just felt like doing a vlog today, um, more than anything else. Cause like I say, I'm just a bit of right now. So, um, yeah, and no, I thought I'd spend a chill day with Matt once he's awake because he's working nights at the minute. Um, so he's currently asleep still, um, as he didn't get in until like 6am. So, you know, he stays in bed, in bed a bit longer. Makes sense if you work nights. I have worked nights before, and yeah, you need to sleep. So unfortunately, you have to stay asleep until like I don't know two in the afternoon, afternoon or something, if you want to get a decent amount of sleep. Um, but yeah, that's fine. So I'm just currently downstairs, um, just watching some Markiplier Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted videos, because <laughs> I'm really obsessed with watching all the um, um five nights at freddy's like music videos but the minecraft animated ones i just i don't know why i absolutely love watching them even though i've seen many of them before um i just find the story of the game very fascinating and interesting and everything so i do like it (laughs) um maybe i should record more of it as i've only done what like two episodes i think one one episode rather one episode yeah i think so only one episode but yeah um my god i look like such a scruff (laughs) it's terrible uh but yeah so what uh, what are you what are you guys doing how are things for you during this god damn it my hair uh during this very strange time in the world i hope you're all doing well i hope you're all keeping safe um and what are your plans for christmas here in the uk i think we're allowed to visit three households in total um over christmas over the christmas period and you're allowed to travel uh but if you meet people outside of your like house like outside of your bubble they call it then you can only see them out outdoors um but yeah i don't know it's um yeah we just came out of like a a semi second lockdown um, it wasn't a proper lockdown, but it was just, you know, a few things were closed and everything. So uh, who knows if we can be going back into that in January. I wouldn't be surprised, especially after Christmas, because I imagine there's going to be a lot of people mingling over Christmas and whatnot. Uh, but what is it? What's it like currently in, you know, where you live like in your countries? Um, it's, uh, it's, I'd love to know, like, the, how it's being handled differently in different countries and everything. Um, I don't envy the, you know, the leaders at the minute. You can't really do any better than what they're doing at the minute. I mean, it would be extremely, extremely difficult trying to, you know, save an entire country from a deadly virus, which is spreading around, causing the pandemic. And it's just like, geez. So it really bothers me when you see people being all funny and mean and, you know, like, towards them. It's like, well, you wouldn't be able to do any better. Imagine how difficult this is. It's an entire country they have to do this for. And it's just like, oh my gosh. So, um, yeah, I don't know. But thank you for, for trying, guys. And thank you for doing it. You know, we really appreciate it. <laughs> um and to the nhs thank you thank you thank you you're all amazing uh but anyway uh that's not very christmasy (laughs) but yeah what's your what's your christmas plans um i'm probably going i think i'm seeing my brother in the morning he's coming around so it'll just be me and the pets in the morning here at home because matt stays at his christmas eve um i think christmas eve we might be going to see 
our grandparents and my uncle at my uncle's house um, as one of the households we can go and visit. Um, and then Christmas Day, yeah, Kyle's coming to see me in the morning. And then I'm not sure if we're visiting our dad or our other grandparents yet um, due to all of, you know, the rules and the blah, 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 blah. <laughs> um, so I'm not sure yet. Possibly our other grandparents as well. Um, but yeah. After he has seen me in the morning, then I'm, if we do or don't go and see our grandparents um, later on, then I'm going to go over to Matt's house like I did last year um, and spend the rest of the day with them, have dinner and all of that. And then Kyle was going to go back to Chloe's house, his partner, and yeah, spend the rest of the day, have dinner there and everything. So uh, yeah, I can't wait for the day when I'll be able to have a family and spend Christmas day at home snuggled in your dressing gown and you know like hot chocolates sat around the tree with your kids or something and just and your pets you are very snoozy at the minute <laughs> um but yeah so that would be nice cats on the move hi honey What you doing? What you doing? You coming up here? Oops, sorry. Oh, okay. No. She's purring. You probably can't hear her, but bless her. But yeah, so um, yeah, just wanna know what you guys are doing. Stay safe. Um, of course, you know, still enjoy Christmas. It is still Christmas after all, despite everything. But, you know, stick to the rules and, um, everything should be okay, hopefully. Um, hello, honey. But yeah, stay safe, Merry Christmas, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys!